Ali Scotch a Day was January 17, 2018. I was only days away from moving into a different apartment, and it wasn't the ideal time to get a dog, but the litter was in high demand, and if I didn't claim him then, he wouldn't have been available later. And I didn't want just any dog, I wanted him. I was in love. Seeing Ollie grow in stature and character has been the greatest joy of my life. I love witnessing how gentle he has become towards his mama and how much he now understands what I want just by observing my body language. As of now, he's a year and eight months old. He weighs a whopping 40 pounds. A big old baby that's just perfect in every way. If you want a corgi, be prepared. They're cute as heck, but will match their cuteness with wit. They will try to outsmart you every chance they get. They're also sweet and cuddly most of the time, but don't think for a second that they'll back down from a standoff with you. These tenacious little guys were meant to herd cattle, so a measly human won't scare them off. Are you done? Oh, and the fur. The fur. They will shed to high heaven. You'll probably have enough fur to build a new corgi every week. There's a funny joke that goes, corgis only shed twice a year, six months each time. I wish it were a joke. People ask me all the time how I manage to keep my house clean despite owning a corgi. There was no magic to it. I literally had to vacuum my floors and couch every single day. It was a commitment. Now I have an automated vacuum, the Roborock. This thing was a game changer. It cleans every corner of my house including under the bed, and has sensors to avoid collisions. I love how it automatically raises the vacuuming power whenever it detects my rugs. Rugs are generally more difficult to clean than hard surfaces, so this automated power surge is definitely a thoughtful and necessary design. It leaves my rugs spotless. Pet hair and food crumbs also get picked up seamlessly and can easily be disposed of once the vacuum is full. This robo vacuum is a pet owner's best friend. And did I mention that it also mops the house? There won't be any hazardous puddles left behind either because it vacuums up the water as it mops. I just leave it on a daily cleaning schedule using the My Home app. It dismounts from the charging dock every day at 11 a.m. right when I walk Ollie so that by the time I get home, my whole house is clean. I can track the cleaning logs to see which area of my house it reached while I was gone and if it managed to miss a spot, I can control it using the app and have it spot clean the area that it missed. My favorite part is seeing it come back and park at the dock again once it's done with its job. So cute. I'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out. The Roborock is more affordable than a lot of other Robo cleaners in its class. So if you're thinking about getting a Corgi, don't worry. The only thing that should have deterred you from getting one has now been vanquished. Ollie was docile at first, clinging onto his favorite baby toy, but by day three, he opened up completely and was his playful, rambunctious self. He was a true toddler. Everything was fun and lighthearted to him. Even punishment was fun. 
He never stopped smiling no matter how much trouble he was in. Taking care of Oliver has taught me more about love, patience, and humility than anything else I'd ever done. Even though he was disobedient to the point of creating mass destruction, I still loved him dearly and would protect him at all costs. There was nothing he could have done to make me love him less, not even peeing on my pillow, which he did many times not even costing me hundreds of dollars in product replacements, which happened many times, not even when he hurt me by playing too rough. Now, if a person can love a troublemaking loaf of bread this much, how much more does our Heavenly Father love us? Even when we make huge mistakes and don't understand the gravity of our actions, even when we cause him disappointment and heartbreak, he still loves us beyond comprehension. Rather than a master and dog relationship, he loves us like a father loves his children. And I got a closer glimpse of this kind of love from the moment I chose Ollie to be my boy. From the beginning, Ollie was already more than a puppy to me. I valued him as though he were my own son, and I made a lifelong, unconditional commitment to loving him always. To many years to come, little buddy. May God bless you with a long, healthy, happy life. <laughs>